Morning peeps, let's read. This was written by Shirley Ray Redman. The verse for today is Colossians 4, 2. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Recently, I had an email from a former student. She'd sold her first story to a children's magazine and wanted to thank me for the help I'd given her when she'd taken my writing course years ago. I was delighted for Gillian. More than that, I was touched that she'd reached out to say thank you. Very few students do. I suppose it shouldn't surprise me. When Jesus healed 10 lepers on his way to Jerusalem, only one of them turned to say thank you to him. One in 10. That's sad, isn't it? But thanklessness seems prevalent. Perhaps that's why magazine published articles, usually in November, on the importance of having an attitude of gratitude. I've taken meals and disposable diapers to new mothers, delivered home-cooked cookies or flowers to shut-ins, and performed other acts of kindness without ever getting an email, text, or phone call to say thanks. I didn't do these things to be thanked. I did them because the Lord would have me to do so, to be salt and light in the world. Why are we so prone to take so much for granted? When my teenagers succumbed to grumbling or whining, I'd counter by asking them to share three things they were grateful for that day. Perhaps the attitude of gratitude is like a muscle that needs exercise to grow strong. I don't know. What I do know is that life is too short not to take time to thank the Lord for our blessings and to say thank you to those around us. So much truth in that. Um, there is nothing more exciting than to re receive a call or a text or a card or something to say thanks for something I did. And I agree with her. It's not, I don't do anything to try to get accolades, but it's still so nice to receive those just to know somebody gives a care. I, I'm always beating myself up because I sometimes I'm very late in getting stuff out to say thank you or I forget totally and the older I get the worse that is but I want to remember and thank everybody especially God thank him for what he's done for me and sometimes I forget I'm bringing up my list peeps good morning Heavenly Father I am so grateful for you in my life and for your guidance and care and support I know that I'm not always right there telling you what I feel but I do, I feel thankful for you. I'm also thankful for my peeps, Lord, and I'm bringing them up to you, the ones in the book and the ones not in the book. And I wanna say thank you for each and every one of them. Give them your love as you've given to me. All this I pray in Jesus' name, amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed, until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.